Turner Valley, Alberta, a picturesque town situated at the foot of the Rockies, is famous for two things. It is the birthplace of Canada's 100-year-old oil and gas industry and the hometown of Lorreen Harper, the Prime Minister's wife. From the foothills of Alberta come the largest supplies of oil yet discovered in Canada. Turner Valley is a long wrinkled dent in the landscape southwest of Calgary, set under guard of the Rocky Mountains. The town has great pride surrounding its pioneering role in the development of Alberta's oil and gas industry, but a dark story unfolds from the past, before the existence of environmental regulations. In 2001, Roxanne Walsh, a resident of the town, heard concerning health statistics from local nurses at the hospital. What really inspired me actually to get involved in the area was after being at a presentation by a couple of nurses at the Oilfields Hospital in Black Diamond who were bringing forward their concerns about the unusually high incidence of MS and um, brain cancers and uh, neurological issues. She has volunteered her time since then investigating the potential impact of industry on the town's drinking water supply. From 1930 until the 1970s, industrial chemicals were dumped and buried at a landfill in the middle of the town the along the banks of the Sheep River. just a large hole dug in the ground. The pit stores the oil until it is pumped out again to be cleaned or to be sent to the railroads as fuel. A thorough scientific study does not seem to have been done around the landfill or the gas plant to better understand the sources of contamination from these sites. In 2011, a report conducted by engineering firm Stantec indicated that the area near the landfill is at high risk for groundwater contamination. Many children swim in close proximity to these sites and the drinking water intake system for both the towns of Turner Valley and Black Diamond or across the river from the industrial landfill. This, however, is not just a bad news story. Roxanne has had past successes. She was one of 10 people acknowledged by Earth Day Canada's Hometown Hero Awards in 2009. She was instrumental in ensuring a containment wall around the historic Turner Valley gas plant was built, and in implementing higher water standards at the town's raw water reservoir. While many of Calgary's bedroom communities are booming as people search for affordable homes, but Turner Valley isn't growing as quickly. That's in part because it couldn't guarantee enough water for everyone. Now the town, with help from the province, has built a nearly six million dollar solution. But as Mia Soziak reports, there are still concerns that solution is unsafe. In spite of her past successes, there are more challenges ahead with a new hearing beginning on April 28th. She needs to hire expert witnesses to give scientific analysis of the issues before the Environmental Appeals Board on just how the river, the industrial landfill, the oil and gas infrastructure, and the drinking water all interact. Your financial contribution to the goal will help to hire one of these experts, Dr. Udo Weyer. Doubling the goal ensures the hiring of a second expert and the ability to do some much needed water testing. With your help, we can support and empower the residents of Turner Valley, Black Diamond and all downstream communities to receive the quality drinking water we all need and so the children can have the health, quality of life and longevity they deserve. Our success may in turn inspire other Canadian communities facing similar issues. Thank you for your generous donation.